So hi everyone and welcome to this video on graphically comparing different forecasts in R. And uh, I think this is a very useful tool when uh, say you're a forecaster and you want to compare between multiple models, but then uh, you'd like to show which of the particular models seems best uh, in, in your case. And you want to be able to communicate that easily through the use of a graph. So uh, this is a, quite a useful video, especially in, uh, in requirements such as those. So uh, to do that, we need to call the three packages. Uh, in this case, we're going to use the forecast package, uh, TS Studio and Tidyverse. Okay. And uh, we're going to use a forecast uh, for inflation. And uh, we're going to try and compare all of them in one graph using uh, different models that we formulated. So the first step is really to just load the data set. So I'll name my data set inflation. So uh, read underscore CSV file dot choose. So this will open like a viewer, which will allow me to pick the file. So the files in my uh, desktop, that's here. Okay, then uh, just to look at the content, so head inflation, right? So it looks something like this. So it's from, uh, I think this is the uh, January of the year 2000 until uh, sometime in, uh, I think, uh, mid of uh, 2020. So uh, first we need to declare uh, the time series object, with, which in this case is inflation, the inflation rate. Uh, and uh, it goes like this. So I'll name it int. Okay, so uh, so the command to declare is ts. Then uh, from inflation, that's the name of our data set, we're gonna get the rate variable. Then this starts at uh, the year 2000, uh, January, the first month, and that's on the fifth of the month. And this is monthly data, so the frequency is equal to uh, 12, right? There. So, uh, what we need to do first is we're going to uh, partition the data into test and training data, right? And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use the command uh, TS split. Okay, so that's, uh, let's do split underscore in, in. Let's create that object, which is essentially the split data set. Uh, so I'm going to reserve, okay, my testing data set to be the last 12 periods that I have or the last 12 months or the last year. Okay, so that's going to be that. Then I'm going to define my training as the part of that split underscore in, which is the train part, right? And the testing is the uh, part of that object, which is the uh, testing part, right? So if you sort of check it, if you do length testing, right, this should be equal to 12 because you specify the sample out equal to 12. Okay, so uh, let's uh, try to define the models and uh, their arguments, right? So uh, we're, we're going to use specifically sort of two, com two main commands to let the things come out, right? And... Uh, we're going to specify our model. So I'll create an object called methods. And essentially, it's a list. So I'm creating a list of different models that I'm going to use. So for example, this model one equals a list method equals a, say my first model uses an ARIMA. And the way that the ARIMA is specified, so I'm going to use method underscore arg. So I want this to be an ARIMA, say, uh, uh, order equals C2. So let's say it's an ARIMA 211. Right? So it's an ARIMA 211. Okay, then uh, the notes. So um, this is what it's going to be labeled as in the graph. So I'll name it ARIMA uh, 2 one one so I'll, I'll let that one be model one right and uh so uh that's my first model right so this is uh the first model that i have 
I can list multiple models, of course. So I'll do model two. So this is again a list. Let's say I want to add uh, some seasonal element to the Arima. So this is now a Sarima. So the, the method type is still Arima, but uh, the method argument will change, right? So this one will be list order uh, equal to C. Say uh, I want to add, uh, say, let's see here. Say I want to add... Um, one uh, seasonal lag. So say I want to add one seasonal auto regressive lag. So seasonal equals list order uh, equals C one zero uh, zero, right? So just count one, two, three. And then uh, the notes would be equal to uh so this is a sarima two one one uh one zero zero right then uh if you notice uh, to make sure that you have the correct sort of uh code uh it just needs to line up because it's gonna line up there then uh let's do model three which is a list method okay uh Let's do, uh, I ran an auto Arima command earlier and uh, what it found to be the most optimal model is a Sarima 210201. So let's try that out. So uh, method uh, underscore arg equals list order equals C. Uh, this is gonna be 210. Okay, so uh, after that, then I add the seasonal. So this is list order equals C, um, so two, zero, one, right? So we have that, two, three, there. Then uh, notes equals, uh, so this is Sarima, two, one, zero, two, zero, one. Okay, so we have that there. And uh, you'll notice this will run. Right, so it created this object called methods. Then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna train the models. Okay, so we have three models here. We're gonna train the models with bat testing. So let's create a sort of model with it. So I'll create an object called MD. Okay, then I'm gonna use the train underscore model command and uh, the input data will be essentially inflation then the methods uh, will be equal to this methods object that we created here, which essentially spe specifies the models. Okay, so uh, I'll just enter this just to be there. Then uh, the train method will be essentially equal to list. Uh, then say we have two partitions. Uh, part partitions equal to 2 sample dot out equal to 12 and the space equal to 3 so say th that's our specification then we want to display uh, the horizon which is a 12 periods ahead right and also the error by which we will compare the model so let's use RMSE the standard one okay then uh, we have that Okay, and uh, what you'll notice is it will give you the average MAPE and RMSE already here. So you notice that based on this model one performs uh, least uh, the least well relative to model two and three. And uh, as we said, right, the lower the RMSE or the MAPE, the better the forecast. So in this case, the model three is the best of the three. And I think we can see that graphically, right? So this is where the graph comes in. So plot. Uh, plot the model okay so we're going to use the plot underscore model command and then the model dot object that we're going to specify is equal to md okay so that's the model then we can graph it here so we can see that uh notice we have all three forecasts in one graph and since we said two partitions it will sort of cycle through that uh once and then twice then uh let's compare the forecast okay so we have that there notice that 
The red line, which is Model 3, indeed performs the best okay, based on visual inspection as well. Then we have uh, Model 2, the green line, then uh, the worst model is Model 1 in this case. Then uh, that's uh, that comparison and we can see the values of the forecast there as well. So uh, that's our simple video on plotting all the forecasts or comparing forecasts graphically in R. And I hope to see you in the next video. So thank you for your attention.